Hey, Vinyl Community, Mark here again from Sound Master, talking all things vinyl. As always, we're doing Vinyl 101 once again here at the channel, talking about the difference between moving magnet and moving coil cartridge designs. The operating principles between the two types are very different, and there are pros and cons to each type of design. After this video, it's my hope that you'll have a very basic, easy to understand explanation that you understand in terms of the two design differences, the design principles, how they work and what the pros and cons are so that you can make an informed decision about your setup. Let's get straight into it. So choosing the right cartridge for you is one of the most important decisions arguably you can make about your turntable setup. After all, this is the first point in the signal chain. It is the first contact, the direct contact with your record. So anything that you put the signal through past this point will be affected by the quality at this stage. Now, of course, there are two main different types of cartridge design, as we've just alluded to, moving magnet and moving coil. The two are very different in their operating principles, how they operate, but they fundamentally perform the same job. Here's the basics of what you need to know. So both cartridge designs are effectively transducers, which in very simple terms is just a device that converts one form of energy into another. In this case, we're converting mechanical energy, the stylus rocking backwards and forwards within the groove whilst it tracks your record, into an electrical energy, an electrical signal, and basically the difference between the two designs is just how they perform this conversion. So first up, how does a moving magnet cartridge work? Well, a moving magnet, often referred to as MM cartridge, achieves the energy conversion by connecting the vibrating cantilever to a set of magnets that then vibrate in close proximity to a pair of coiled wires. The tiny magnets positioned between the two coils vibrate and in doing so produce a small electrical current. So the advantages include being very robust overall, they produce a moderate to high output signal level, and the user has the ability to change the stylus themselves. Also, typically they're more compatible overall with most household stereo equipment, so e.g. You know, standard phono inputs. In terms of disadvantages, moving magnet designs are heavier, so moving call setups tend to exhibit greater inertia when it comes to reading the subtle changes within the grooves. This means that moving magnet designs are less competent at tracking the very high frequency content, so therefore some listeners may feel that they lack transient detail. A moving coil design, on the other hand, works in the opposite way by allowing the cantilever to vibrate coiled wires near fixed magnets, hence the terms moving magnet and moving coil. The two coils are attached to the cantilever and move within the field of a fixed permanent magnet to form the electrical generator. These coils are much smaller than those used in moving magnet designs. The mass is much lower in a moving coil design, resulting in less downward pressure. The tracking inertia is much lower, which frees the stylus up and allows for a wider frequency response, improved high frequency transients and more detailed reproduction of the original waveform. Producing such a delicate instrument, however, does come with its downsides. It costs a lot more to manufacture these designs, and it's also more expensive for the end user to run. The output signal of an MC design is much lower and will require a phono preamp with an additional gain stage. MC cartridges are also quite delicate compared to MM designs, and they typically do not have a user replaceable stylus. Actually, those who would like to see a visual representation of these two different operating principles could do a lot worse than take a look at these graphics from Autophon here, and I'll put a link in the description below to this page. But here in principle is basically what you're looking at, a moving magnet demonstration here, just a very simplified drawing version of it, and the same goes for moving coil here. You'll see, of course, the cantilever attached to a coil in this case, and of course the cantilever attached to a moving magnet in this instance here as well. So when comparing the two, it's easy to see why moving call designs are often favoured by discerning audio files. After all, if you're looking for precision and detail, then moving coil is a clear winner here. However, not everybody has the budget or the inclination to run a moving call design, and also not everybody that has a turntable is necessary, uh, necessarily a hi-fi audio file. And on top of this, you know, if you're a DJ turntablist, for example, then a 
removing core design just won't be robust enough and up to the job of what a turntablist will do, what it will be put through in that application. So I myself don't actually own a moving coil cartridge. I don't have the budget at this point in my record collecting journey to make that kind of upgrade. And I'm not sure I'm quite ready for some of the downsides and the inconveniences of things like not being able to change the stylus myself or potentially having to have a stylus re-tipped, for example, which can be done with some models. And it is important to remember that the moving magnet designs are still very, very good, you know, particularly as you move up through the ranks and the models that are available from different manufacturers. The high frequency detail gets better often as you move into those higher end designs. The detail and the depth and the transients and everything, the tonal range that's on offer improves greatly. And so for many, and for I would say probably most record collectors, the uplifting quality that you may get from moving up to moving coil may not be enough to justify the extra cost and the extra inconvenience. Now this may change for me further down the line but at the moment I'm not in the moving coil category. So I hope you found this useful in some way today. Being a Vinyl 101 series, we've only really just scratched the surface of this today, but hopefully my explanation was nice and stripped down, easy to understand of the basics, the fundamentals of this topic. But I think a really good thing to put out to the comments section, out to the wider vinyl community, would be how do you get into moving coil for a reasonable cost? What's a great setup that won't break the bank? Let us know down in the comments below, because I think one of the biggest barriers, of course, to going to moving cores, I've mentioned earlier in this video, is the bigger upfront cost and the larger maintenance cost in terms of you not just being able to buy a separate stylus and pop it on that cartridge. So I'd love to hear from you about great sounding, affordable moving coil setups down in the comments below. But if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. We'd love to have you on board. And until then, keep spinning.